Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's latest body language shows that rapport appears to have been broken between the two, an expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were pictured together earlier today, April 15, in what marks their first joint trip outside the U.S. since Mexit in 2020. The couple were snapped with the Ukrainian team in the Netherlands as the Invictus Games are set to kick off on Saturday, April 16. According to leading UK psychotherapist and body language expert Nick Davis however, the pair displayed very different emotions through their body language and the rapport between them appears to have been broken. He told the Daily Star, Picture 1, above, is interesting as both of their faces are leaking their inner feelings, showing some internal conflict with what they're wanting to show the world. Whatever the interaction Harry is having is causing him some concern shown clearly on the right side of his face, furrowed brow, mouth downturned whilst the left is more of an interested expression. However it is causing some amusement or pleasure for Meghan, with the right side of her face almost smiling and creating a small dimple. He continued, in picture 2, below, their expressions go from micro to macro, more clearly showing a clear disparity with their moods, Harry looking more flushed, tired and downbeat, Meghan looking uplifted and happy, which is odd for couples deeply in love as they naturally match with their partners. The body language expert concluded, on this day, rapport appears to have been broken between the two, with Meghan appearing to be more satisfied with the resolution of whatever happened behind closed doors. The honeymoon period normally ends around 18 months, so this will be over, but they may also be experiencing some differences around their core values to create a rapport shift like this perhaps. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle opted for jewelry steeped in sentimental meaning as she joined Prince Harry on her first engagement in The Hague. The Duchess of Sussex showcased a mixture of new buys and old favorites as she stepped out for the Invictus Games event, including the £17,800, $23,000, Cartier watch once owned by Princess Diana. Meghan also sported the £12,000, $15,000, Cartier diamond earrings she wore on her wedding day and to Archie's christening, as well as her dazzling £271,000, $350,000. Diamond engagement ring custom made by Prince Harry and her Welsh gold wedding band. Demonstrating her love for quirky pieces, Meghan wore a £400, $374, necklace by British designer Sophie Lees which celebrates enduring love. The Duchess also wore an ultra trendy thin £234, $238, gold chain twisted around her left hand from New York based brand Catbird, as well as two subtle gold bands on her right hand which have yet to be identified. In the other hand, the date of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's clearing the air meetings with the Queen and Prince Charles brought an extra significance to discussions, a royal source claims. The couple made a secret trip to Windsor en route to The Hague for the Invictus Games, which kick off on Saturday. While the meetings took place away from the eyes and ears of aides in the media, an insider says the fact it took place during the Easter period speaks volumes. They told, Her Majesty and Prince Charles, as devoutly religious people, understand the added significance of the family being brought together at this time. The Easter period and indeed Maundy Thursday is a period of togetherness and forgiveness and that is very much the collective wish moving forward. However, the Invictus game seems to have distanced itself from its founder Prince Harry. The Duke of Sussex created the event for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women in 2014 but in publicity for the event this month, hosts Alex Jones and JJ Chalmers have avoided any mention of the royal. T comes after the royal family have distanced themselves from Harry and wife Meghan Markle after they quit the firm in January 2020. And the Dutch royal seem to have also kept the Sussexes at arm's length, as Meghan and Harry won't be greeted with a royal reception. Alex Jones says in an interview to promote the spectacle, I think the beautiful thing about the Games is the way it has given our servicemen and women a chance to rebuild their lives after experiencing often traumatic events. The competitiveness is very important and is palpable when you watch the events, but underneath all that is an event that was created to give people who have lost hope focus and something to strive for.